Right, hello everyone. Uh, this is Brave Sir Robin coming to you with another EB Online one v one battle. Uh, this one feature features me playing as uh, the SPQR or the Romans uh, against Lazio playing as Carthaginians. Uh, I decided to pick this battle because uh, it's a really interesting one. There's a lot of uh, tides changing back and forth, uh, the fortunes of war, as it may be. Um, I know I haven't uploaded any in a while. Sorry about that, I've been very busy. Uh, but I'm just going to go through quickly the army compositions because this battle is going to start in a hurry. Um, I've chosen six units of Polybian Principes as my main line. Um, on their flanks, I've taken two units of the Polybian Hastadi for the extra javelins to throw at flankers. Um, on the far left, I have two units of Pedites Extraordinarii, the elite heavy infantry of the Italic Allies. These guys are very good. Uh, as a strategic reserve, I have two units of Nietos and three units of Triarii. Uh, the only missile contingent I've taken is two units of Wellites in the back. My general is in Equites Consularis, bodyguard, uh, and I have a unit of Ligoria Epos, Ligorian Cavalry, and Equites Campani Campaniki, Campanian Cavalry. Both of two are skirmisher cavalry, but they're medium to heavy, so no, not too many troubles here. Lazio also has selected uh, an archerless army. He has four units of the Midnaxim Numidim, Numidian skirmishers up out in front. Um, on this flank, he has three units of Anatim Libim Kabidim, the Libyan heavy spearmen. His center has two units of Pezoi Bretioi, the Brutian infantry. Uh, on his, well, his left flank, that would be three units of Dorkei Hatquapa Iberim, the Iberian assault infantry, one of my favorite units in the game. Uh, he also has two units of Gaisatai, the Gaelic Naked Fanatics, two units of Parasim Libby Ponium, Libby Phoenician Cavalry, two units of Balearic Slingers, and two units of Cantabra Epinodorium, the Cantabrian Light Cavalry. Alright, so this battle starts off, we both just charge each other. Uh, neither of us likes to play timidly, uh, and I see an opportunity to catch his skirmishers out before they can fire some javelins off. Uh, and I indeed catch them sort of unawares. Um, and I can see I've engaged all my principes here, but I'm also not engaging with his line. Um, he gets off a lot of javelin volleys over here on these stadi. Uh, but basically what I try to do is push this flank. That's why I have these two units of extraordinary eye out here. Uh, and so I immediately do that. I start throwing javelins at this unit of Libyan heavy spearmen here with, <clears throat> with the stadi. And now I start tossing javelins into their flanks over here with the Petus Extraordinary Eye. I also push with the cavalry. Um, he might, meanwhile, is pushing with his Cantabrians on this side along with the Slingers, trying to get them in position. Um, I send in my Nietos, and I accidentally um, keep the Triarii walking. I was just walking my formation forward, but he ran out to meet me. Uh, I didn't get a chance to stop my Triarii, so some of them engage, some of them don't. Uh, but now you can see my extraordinary eye wrapping around this flank here, trapping this unit of Libyan heavy spearmen. I'm um, also pushing with this unit to engage these two units of spearmen. He uh, was charging his Cantabrian like cavalry against my Wellites, who I ran over here. Uh, but the presence of my general and supporting infantry causes them to support. Meanwhile, I can charge my cavalry through because these are loose formation skirmishers. It's not a big deal. Uh, and I come up behind the Cantabrians. Also bring my Triarii and cut off his Gaisatai that are coming around. He does manage to pull his Cantabrians out. Uh, now he has his Valyric Slingers in a pretty good position over here. Um, he's also wrapping around here with, with these Iberian Assault Infantry. Uh, now, um, over on this flank, this battle is really fast moving as you can see. Uh, he sends his Libby Phoenicians out to chase my Skirmishers. I run away from them, uh, but that leaves my back exposed. Uh, and he gets in two really good charges over here. I was really handing it to him on this flank. Uh, these two charges hit me flush in the back. Um, the only reason these guys don't break is because they are elite infantry. Um, so thankfully, they managed to survive that. Uh, now I pull my cavalry back. Now over here, you actually see he's fl riding some of my guys already. This unit of Nietos breaks. Uh, he's going to break this unit of Princapes in just a moment. I managed to get... Uh, hold of this unit of Cantabrians, my general had been engaging them, and they get wedged between this and the Triarii, uh, and that's going to rout them in just a second. But you can see he's winning this flank now. 
Over on this end, my cavalry is engaging his. Uh, and I'm actually winning that battle. His campaigns are very good melee cavalry. Uh, but things aren't looking that great for me. He's routed this whole flank here. Now these Chiarii um, and Hastati out here are fighting the Gaisatai are going to get put between uh, two units of Iberian Assault Infantry. I do manage to get my Velites out here to fight his Valyric Slingers, which is a plus. Um, and then I come back with this unit of Chiarii after I route his uh, Cantabrians. Um, over here I managed to get a charge in on his Libby Phoenicians with my Ligurians who are returning, as well as the Thetis Extraordinarii. He doesn't manage to run them um, to charge them, he just sort of runs them in here. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, but I'm also really handing it to these Libby Phoenicians here, which is his General's Bodyguard unit. Meanwhile, Maya General is sort of like running behind, um, which causes some fear of being surrounded to some of his men, causes some routing. Um, over on this end, you can see there's Cantabrians out here just chasing some of my routers. I do have a few units returning, as you can see, and that's going to play a big part later in the battle. Um, the big blow is here. I completely encircled all these living heavy spearmen, so they start to run. And now you can see, just besides this one unit, uh, I've completely won this flank. Uh, I've also managed to catch up to his Libyan Phoenicians again while he was busy with something else, the Ligorians. But he's bringing his cavalry back, and over on this flank, he's winning. Uh, now he's completely routed all these Chiaria. This one unit's going to stand here, but not for much longer. Uh, but my belly taste has chased off the slingers. I think this is a really fun battle. It's very fast moving, very fast paced. Um, here you can see his Libby Phoenicians come in for a charge. I managed to turn my Chiaria in time to meet the chargers, and I do manage to resist it. Uh, my Ligorian's coming after them. Got a couple kills, but he does manage to pull them out. Um, but I think he misclicked, and they went back into the battle. Here he's trying to run his general away from my Campanians and my general's body art who are chasing. You can see his infantry that won over here is coming back. Um, my Velites are coming back, and I'm forming up a line with this wing, protecting us this infantry. Uh, Ligorians are chasing after his Cantabrians, and my uh, Campanians managed to kill his general, which I thought would be game over. Um, you can see I have this line set up here to defend against these guys. I still have cavalry left. The only cavalry he has left uh, is this unit of Cantabrians who end up charging into uh, this Astati unit and getting caught by the Ligorians and then they end up dying. So I thought with a cavalry advantage, and I still have a slight infantry advantage, uh, that I would have this battle pretty easily won. But he has some returners as well coming on this flank. Uh, that ends up being very important. I bring in my Velites. I hadn't used any of their javelins really. And I start pouring javelins into his Iberian Assault Infantry over here. In retrospect, I probably should have ran them around a little bit further and used them on the Gaisakai. Um, but I thought that the cavalry charges here would do a decent number, and they do. They whittle the Gaisakai down a bit. Uh, those Gaisakai had also been engaging Shiarii, and Shiarii are no weak foe. You can see javelins raining in on his Iberian Assault Infantry here. Uh, they're also engaged with Thetis Extraordinary Eye, so it's a tough battle for them. Um, he does route this one unit of Triaria, which had been really reduced, uh, and he manages to break this unit up, Thetis Extraordinary Eye out here. And even though I ride a unit of Iberian Assault Infantry, I just recognize my danger. <clears throat> it's about to come become really clear.